If you are in your 60s, 70s, or beyond, I want you to know that this message is crafted with you in mind. It can often feel like health advice is aimed at a younger generation, leaving you to wonder what is truly safe and effective for you. Today, we are going to change that. We will take a deep dive into a remarkable substance called creatine, and I will share with you the latest scientific discoveries that show how it can be a powerful ally in maintaining your strength, sharpening your mind, and supporting your overall health during these precious years. I have meticulously reviewed the scientific research from the last few years to bring you a simple, clear, and thorough guide. The internet is filled with scattered and often confusing information, but my goal today is to put everything you need to know in one place. We will talk about how creatine works, how to take it for the best results, and the incredible science-backed benefits for your muscles, your brain, and even your bones and immune system. This is about giving you the tools to feel strong, confident, and vibrant. Let's begin with the most fundamental question. Which type of creatine should you choose? Walking into a health store or looking online can be overwhelming with countless expensive and flashy options. However, the scientific community has made the answer to this question incredibly simple for us. Decades of research have overwhelmingly concluded that the best, most effective, and most reliable form is creatine monohydrate. You might see other forms marketed as superior such as creatine hydrochloride, HCL, ethyl ester, or even liquid versions. The latest studies have put these to the test, and the results are conclusive. None of them are better than plain, simple creatine monohydrate. They are not bad for you, but they offer no additional benefit and often come with a much higher price tag. So you can feel confident and save your money by choosing the inexpensive, widely available powder form. It is the gold standard for a reason, and it is all you will ever need. A simple trick for better results and less bloating. A common concern that some people have when starting creatine is a feeling of slight puffiness or water retention. For years, this was thought to be an unavoidable side effect. But exciting new research has not only explained why this happens, but has also given us a wonderfully simple solution. That bloated feeling is often not a result of taking too much creatine. It is because our bodies are not getting the help they need to use it properly. Imagine your muscle cells have little doors, and creatine needs a special key to get through them. That key is sodium, the primary transporter that carries creatine from your bloodstream into your muscle cells is called SLC6A8, and it's a sodium-dependent transporter. This means it requires sodium to function correctly. Recent studies have shown that you can increase the absorption of creatine into your muscles by as much as 47% simply by ensuring your sodium levels are adequate. If you do not have enough sodium present, the doors to your muscles do not open as efficiently. This can leave some creatine stranded outside the muscle cells in what is called the extracellular space, drawing water with it and causing that puffy feeling. The solution is remarkably easy. Add a small pinch of salt to the water when you mix your creatine. You could also take it with a low-sugar electrolyte drink. This simple action ensures the creatine gets delivered right where you want it, inside your muscles, making it more effective and eliminating that unwanted bloating. One of the most significant challenges we face as we age is the gradual loss of muscle mass and strength, a condition known as sarcopenia. This is not about vanity. It directly impacts our ability to live independently and enjoy life. It affects our balance, our ability to get up from a chair, our confidence in walking on uneven ground, and our capacity to carry out daily tasks. This is precisely where creatine offers a tremendous, life-enhancing advantage. A major systematic review from July 2024, which analyzed a large number of studies, found that individuals who took creatine while engaging in resistance training gained an average of 2.5 pounds more lean muscle than those who did the same exercises without it. 
What is even more fascinating is that they also saw an average fat loss of about one and a half pounds. Researchers are still exploring the exact mechanism for this fat loss, but it is believed that creatine helps reduce low-grade inflammation, allowing the body to burn fat more efficiently. Let's translate this into real-world strength. An October 2023 study that combined the results of 23 different trials found a remarkable difference. For the upper body, people taking creatine were able to lift, on average, about 10 pounds more across various exercises. Think about what that means. Carrying heavier groceries with ease, lifting a grandchild, or putting a suitcase in an overhead compartment. The results for the lower body were even more impressive. Participants saw an average strength increase of 25 pounds more on their lower body lifts. This is incredibly important. Stronger legs mean better balance, a more stable gait, a reduced risk of falling, and the power to get up from the ground or a low sofa without assistance. Creatine seems to pack a more powerful punch for the lower body, which is fantastic news for maintaining mobility and independence. Now that you see how this can directly help you preserve your physical freedom, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. We are committed to creating more content just like this, designed to help you thrive in your golden years. How much should you take? With this new information, the old recommendation of taking 5 grams a day has been updated. A 2021 study in the journal Nutrients suggests that 7 grams per day is the new sweet spot for reaping these muscle and strength benefits. Interestingly, you can even tailor your dosage to your specific goals. If your primary focus is improving your leg strength for better balance and stability, a consistent, moderate dose of 7 grams every day is an excellent strategy. If, however, you feel you need to focus on your upper body strength for a while. The research suggests a different approach might yield better results. You could try a loading phase, where you take a higher dose of 20 grams per day, split into four doses of five grams for about five to seven days, and then drop down to a maintenance dose of five to seven grams per day. This initial high dose seems to saturate the upper body muscles more effectively. This difference is likely due to the varying density of creatine transporters in different muscle groups, similar to how other receptors vary in our bodies. Can you get enough creatine from food alone? This is an excellent and important question. Creatine is a natural substance found in our bodies and in certain foods. The primary dietary sources of creatine are red meat and fish. For example, a pound of uncooked beef or salmon contains roughly 1 to 2 grams of creatine. To achieve the 7-gram daily dose that research shows is effective for building strength and supporting brain health, you would need to eat several pounds of meat or fish every single day. For most older adults, this is simply not practical or even desirable. Appetites can decrease with age, and many people follow diets that limit red meat consumption for other health reasons. Cooking also reduces the creatine content in food. Therefore, while eating a healthy diet that includes these foods is beneficial, relying on food alone makes it nearly impossible to reach the therapeutic levels of creatine that provide these significant benefits. This is where supplementation becomes a safe, efficient, and highly practical solution. A small scoop of creatine monohydrate powder provides a concentrated dose that you could never get from your diet alone, allowing you to easily unlock all the advantages we are discussing today. Sharpening your mind and fortifying your memory. Perhaps the most exciting and profound area of new creatine research is its effect on the brain. Many of us are concerned about maintaining our cognitive function and memory as we age. The brain is an incredibly energy-hungry organ, and creatine acts as a source of rapid, on-demand energy for our brain cells. When you supplement with creatine, you increase the stores of a molecule called phosphocreatine in your brain. This gives your brain a reservoir of instant energy to draw from, which can dramatically improve its performance.
a landmark 2022 study highlighted this perfectly. It found that supplementing with just 5 grams of creatine per day led to significant memory improvements, and these effects were most pronounced in adults age 65 and older. It helps your brain access memories and process information more quickly and with less effort. Furthermore, creatine helps combat mental fatigue. Do you ever feel mentally drained after a period of intense focus? Like doing your finances, learning a new skill, or reading a complex book? Research shows that a daily dose of about 8 grams reduces oxidative stress in the brain and increases the amount of oxygen it receives. This helps you maintain your mental stamina and focus. What about those nights when sleep is elusive? A fascinating study looked at the effects of serious sleep deprivation. When participants took 20 grams of creatine per day for a week, it almost entirely restored their executive function, things like problem-solving and decision-making, to normal levels. It also significantly improved their mood. While this is a high dose, it shows how powerfully creatine can support brain function under stress. Protecting our bones and preventing fractures from falls is a top priority for healthy aging. For a long time, the connection between creatine and bone health was unclear. However, a groundbreaking study from 2024 has provided an incredible insight. The study confirmed that creatine does not necessarily increase overall bone mineral density. Instead, it does something potentially even more valuable. The research found that creatine influences the bone cells themselves, encouraging them to remodel and restructure the bone, particularly in the femur, the large thigh bone. This remodeling process makes the entire bone structure stronger and more resistant to fracture. It is as if creatine makes your bones smarter, allowing them to adapt to the mechanical loads placed on them during exercise and daily activity. This results in a bone that is functionally stronger and more structurally sound, a profound benefit that can directly contribute to your safety and resilience. A surprising and welcome boost for your immune system. Here is another wonderful benefit that has only recently come to light through scientific investigation. We are now discovering that creatine has an immunomodulatory effect, meaning it can help support the healthy immune system. Your immune cells are your body's frontline defenders, and just like your muscles and brain, they require a tremendous amount of energy to function effectively. A 2022 pilot study found that creatine increases the energy in the form of a molecule called ATP inside our neutrophils, which are a critical type of white blood cell. With more energy, these immune cells become more effective and efficient at their job of identifying and neutralizing potential pathogens like bacteria. In an age where maintaining a robust immune system is more important than ever, this is a fantastic and welcome benefit that adds another layer of support for your overall health. Putting common myths and worries to rest, it is completely normal to have questions and concerns before starting any new supplement. I want to put your mind at ease by addressing the most common myths about creatine with solid scientific evidence. Myth Creatine is bad for your kidneys. This is the most persistent myth, but it has been thoroughly debunked in healthy individuals. Supplementing with creatine can increase a substance called creatinine in your blood, which doctors sometimes use as a marker for kidney function. However, in this context, the rise in creatinine is simply a harmless byproduct of the extra creatine in your system and is not a sign of kidney damage or stress. Numerous studies, even using very high doses for long periods, have shown no negative effects on kidney health. Myth Creatine can cause hair loss. This concern originated from a single, small study years ago that has never been replicated. A recent, high-quality 12-week randomized controlled trial put this myth to bed for good. Researchers measured the hormones related to hair loss, DHT, and found no change whatsoever. 
They also measured participants' hair follicle density and saw zero change. You can feel confident that creatine will not cause hair loss. Creatine affects the liver. Concerns about liver health stemmed from a single study on rats that were given extreme doses without any exercise. This has no relevance to human use. All of the human data shows no negative changes in liver enzymes or liver health, even with high doses. You would have to take hundreds of grams to see even a remote effect. Myth. Creatine causes dehydration. This is only a plausible risk if you are not adequately hydrated to begin with. As we discussed earlier, creatine works best when it gets inside the muscle cell. For that to happen, you need sufficient water and electrolytes. If you follow our simple tip, taking your creatine with plenty of water and a pinch of salt, you will not only avoid this issue, but also enhance its benefits. You have learned a great deal today, and my hope is that you feel informed, empowered, and optimistic about the possibilities. Here is a simple summary of the key takeaways to help you get started. Choose simplicity and value. Creatine monohydrate is the best, most researched, and most affordable choice. Do not be swayed by expensive, fancy alternatives. Find your ideal dose. A daily dose of 7 grams is a great starting point for muscle and strength benefits. For enhanced brain support, or if you are over 65, you might consider increasing this to 8 to 10 grams per day, as our bodies may absorb it less efficiently with age. Remember the pinch of salt. To maximize absorption and prevent any potential bloating, always take your creatine powder with a full glass of water and a small pinch of salt. Focus on your why. Remember, this is not about chasing the physique of a young athlete. This is about something far more important, investing in your quality of life. It is about having the strength to play with your grandchildren, the mental clarity to pursue your hobbies, the stability to walk with confidence, and the vitality to live every day to the fullest. Thousands of seniors have found this video helpful, so I highly recommend you watch it. Click to keep going.